Hi there. Today we're going to talk about tourism marketing strategies. This video is useful for any business in the hospitality and tourism sector, regardless of its size. We will share with you a step-by-step -step guide with tips and tactics to ensure you're on the right way. So let's start right away with step number one, which is understanding your target market. This is the first step that forms the basis for everything that comes. So it's crucial to get it right so that you can tailor your marketing strategies effectively. Start by identifying your target demographic. You need to do a thorough market research. And this can be done through surveys, focus groups, or analyzing existing customer data. For example, a beach resort might find their primary customers are families and couples aged 25 to 45. When you're identifying your target demographic, you need to consider factors like age, gender, income level, education, and marital status. A luxury hotel, for example, might target higher income individuals or couples because that makes more sense. Next, you need to analyze your competitors. Look at who your competitors are targeting. For instance, if a competitor specializes in adventure tourism for young adults, there might be an opportunity in targeting a different demographic, like for example, mature adventure seekers. After that, you need to understand the needs and preferences of your target audience. Use direct feedback through reviews, surveys, or interviews to gain insights. A bed and breakfast might learn through reviews that guests highly value personalized experiences. You can also use tools like Google Analytics to understand what potential customers are searching for. For instance, if there's a high search volume for family-friendly activities in Belfast, then you can capitalize on this interest. And similarly, you need to monitor social media for trends and preferences. If there's a growing trend in ecotourism on platforms like Instagram, then eco-friendly hotels can use this in their marketing. And afterwards, you should be segmenting your market. One type of segmentation is geographic, and this involves segmenting the market based on location. A ski resort, for instance, might target guests from warmer regions looking for a winter holiday. Another type is psychographic segmentation, and this is about interests, attitudes, and lifestyles. For instance, a boutique hotel might focus on art lovers and design their experience around local art and culture. Then there's behavioral segmentation, which is based on consumer behavior such as spending patterns, brand loyalty, or usage rate. A tour operator might offer different packages for first-time visitors versus repeat visitors. Then there's behavioral segmentation, which is based on consumer behavior, such as spending patterns, brand loyalty, or usage rate. A tour operator might offer different packages for first-time visitors versus repeat visitors. And finally, there's benefit segmentation, and this one is about focusing on the specific benefits that customers seek. For example, a wellness retreat can target individuals looking for stress relief and wellness practices. What you need to do is use the segments you targeted to create more personalized marketing messages. A resort targeting families can emphasize child-friendly facilities and family activities in their promotions. You should also develop services and products that appeal to each segment. So a city hotel might offer romantic packages for couples and cultural tours for solo travelers. And accordingly, choose the right marketing channels for each segment. Younger demographics might be more effectively reached through social media, while older demographics might respond better to email marketing or traditional advertising. Then we move to step number two, which is brand building and storytelling. These two are pivotal for tourism businesses to differentiate themselves in a competitive market. Creating a compelling brand story involves weaving the unique aspects of a business into a narrative that resonates with the target audience. This narrative should capture the essence of the experience offered, reflecting the values, culture, and uniqueness of the brand. 
Developing a unique selling point is central to this narrative. It's about identifying what sets the business apart. For instance, a bed and breakfast might focus on its heritage, a boutique hotel on its bespoke local experiences, or an adventure tour company on its exclusive access to remote locations. The USP or the unique selling point should address specific desires or problems of the target audience, offering a clear reason why they should choose this business over others. Storytelling is the vehicle for conveying this brand story and USP. It involves crafting stories that engage customers emotionally, connecting them to the brand in a meaningful way. And this could be done through sharing customer testimonials, highlighting the history of the location, or telling the story behind the business's inception. Effective storytelling creates an emotional bond, making the brand more memorable and encouraging customer loyalty. In the tourism sector, where experiences are the product, compelling storytelling can transform a simple offering into an unforgettable experience. Step number three is using digital marketing tools. These are crucial for tourism businesses to reach and engage with their target audience effectively. Leveraging social media platforms like Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok allows businesses to showcase their offerings visually and creatively. For example, a beach resort can use Instagram to post stunning seaside imagery and stories, attracting beach vacation enthusiasts. TikTok, on the other hand, can be used for short, engaging video tours of a destination appealing to a younger audience. Meanwhile, effective email marketing campaigns remain a powerful tool. They can be personalized, offering deals and information based on previous customer interactions. A boutique hotel might send a tailored email to past guests offering a special rate for a return visit or introducing a new service. SEO is another vital channel for making a tourism website easily discoverable locally. You must optimize for keywords that include the service and location, like for instance, best fish restaurant in Belfast or affordable city tour in Dublin. These kind of keywords can significantly increase organic traffic and users who search for these keywords have a high intention to convert. Another aspect of local SEO is utilizing Google My Business effectively. By maintaining an up-to-date listing with photos, reviews, and detailed business information, a local bed and breakfast can improve its visibility in local search results and Google Maps. And that makes it easier for potential guests to find and choose their services. Step number four is content marketing. Content is a powerful tool for this sector. It helps you engage audiences and enhance online presence. Blogging and article writing in specific can significantly boost SEO while providing valuable information to potential customers. A hotel can blog about local attractions or travel tips, attracting readers planning a trip to that area. Meanwhile, video content is increasingly important in capturing audience attention. You can create vlogs, virtual tours, and customer testimonials to showcase your offerings. A resort might produce a vlog highlighting local cultural experiences or do a guided tour of their facilities, providing a dynamic and immersive preview to potential guests. High quality aesthetic images and virtual tours are crucial for visually driven platforms. They allow customers to virtually experience destinations or services before booking. A travel agency could use 360-degree images or a virtual reality tour to provide a realistic and engaging view of a tour package. This effectively communicates the allure and excitement of the experience to the viewer. And then we move to step number five, which is experiential marketing. Tourism revolves around creating unique, immersive experiences that deeply engage customers. That's why you should design experiences that aren't just about the services offered, but about creating memorable moments. For instance, a hotel could organize exclusive night safaris or culinary classes featuring local cuisine, 
providing guests with an authentic and unforgettable experience. Hosting events or tours that highlight the uniqueness of the location is another effective strategy. A vineyard, for example, might host wine tasting events or vineyard tours, offering an insider's view into wine production. Leveraging local culture and heritage is key here, and this could involve collaborating with local artisans or historians to offer guests culturally rich experiences, like traditional craft workshops or historical tours that reflect the area's heritage and traditions. Such offerings not only enhance the visitor's experience, but also promote local culture, creating a deeper connection between the visitor and the destination. Step number six, customer reviews and reputation management. This means encouraging guests to leave positive reviews and reminding them to share their experiences online. And the first step to achieve that is through excellent service and follow-up communications. For instance, a boutique hotel might send a thank you email post-stay with a link to review sites. Handling negative reviews constructively is equally important. Businesses should respond promptly and empathetically to such reviews, addressing concerns and demonstrating a commitment to improving the service. This approach not only appeases dissatisfied customers, but also shows potential customers that the business values feedback and is dedicated to guest satisfaction. Utilizing testimonials in marketing is a powerful tool. Featuring real customer stories and experiences in marketing materials can build trust and authenticity. For example, a travel agency can use video testimonials from satisfied travelers in their social media campaigns, providing prospective customers with relatable and genuine endorsements. Step number seven, partnerships and networking. Collaborating with local businesses such as restaurants, entertainment venues, and cultural sites can create comprehensive travel packages and unique experiences. A hotel might partner with a popular local restaurant to offer guests exclusive dining experiences. Similarly, building relationships with travel influencers and bloggers can significantly boost visibility. By inviting them to experience and review your services, you can leverage their followers and credibility. A boutique resort can host a travel blogger, gaining exposure to a wider, travel-focused audience. Engaging with tourism boards and local communities can also open opportunities for joint marketing efforts and community-based tourism experiences. This not only supports local economies, but also offers guests authentic, culturally rich experiences. For example, a tour operator might collaborate with a local tourism board to promote sustainable tourism practices in the area. Step number eight, budgeting and return on investment. It's essential to strategically allocate the budget across various channels, like digital advertising, content creation, and experiential marketing, ensuring that each platform aligns with the target audience's preferences. Tracking and measuring ROI involves analyzing data from website traffic, conversion rates, and customer engagement as well. And this is to assess the performance of these marketing campaigns. Small tourism businesses should focus on cost-effective strategies, such as organic social media marketing, collaborating with local influencers, and engaging in community-based marketing. These approaches can drive significant engagement and customer acquisition without incurring substantial costs, making them ideal for businesses with limited budgets. Employing these strategic approaches in brand building, digital marketing, content creation, experiential offerings, and effective budget management, tourism businesses can significantly enhance their visibility engage more deeply with their audience, and achieve a sustainable return on investment. Now, thank you very much for watching this video. We hope that you now have a better understanding of tourism marketing strategies. Profile Tree has helped hundreds of businesses with that. So if you need any help, we're happy to help you. Just drop us a comment and we'll get back to you.